Battlefield 5 live von der E3 2019. Es gibt neue Maps, mehr Ränge, private Games und vieles mehr. Alle weiteren Neuerungen stelle ich euch in diesem Video vor. The Battle of Greece continues. On the Marita Map. Mit Start des neuen Chapters bringt EA gleich zu Beginn eine neue Map mit ins Spiel. Merida liegt in Griechenland und erscheint Anfang Juli. Das vierte Kapitel wird am 27.06. veröffentlicht. Marita ist eine herbstliche Karte mit Laubbäumen, einer Burg und wird abgerundet durch malerische Felswände. Die Alliierten halten die Stadt, doch die Achsenmächte starten eine Offensive. Marita ist eine infanteriefokussierte Map, wo alle vier Soldier-Klassen will be able to shine. Tanks und Aircraft. Marita ist eine Infanteriekarte, auf der jede Soldatenklasse zum Einsatz kommt. Die Map ermöglicht vertikales Gameplay durch die Berge und hat laut EA eine Banana Shape Form. Stay alert in this steep environment as the Battle of Greece rages on. To help give us even more details on Marita, please welcome Ryan MacArthur from Dice. Yeah. So thanks for coming out Ryan. So obviously Marita looks amazing. What was the map's inspiration? Well, I think um, the, you know the team in, in in LA that put this together, and they built the the Mercury map that the, the, that everyone saw earlier yeah. this month. Mm -hmm. And so they really wanted to continue that story of the Battle of Greece, which is a bit of an unknown story, new, new to me as well uh, as you, as you learn about this stuff. So it's really cool. It's sort of set um, on the Albanian Greece border, sort of in the mountains there, where the uh, the Axis power sort of started to push into Greece during the war, uh, and it's sort of set above the clouds in this nice little quiet, well, I guess what used to be quiet village. Before, <laughs> Not uh, anymore. Before these guys all show up, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's a quite a different experience than Mercury, and it's sort of um, a totally different style of gameplay that you would have seen in the game before. So, what kind of gameplay are we talking about? What's happening? Well, so this is going to be a, a heavily infantry-focused map. So, uh, as Mr. Battlefield likes to put it, this is total creative chaos. So you're just going to see I some love that. Oh. <laughs> creative chaos. Yeah. So what we get there is just head-on, just collisions in the middle of this map, and it's it's sort of a d what we try to do with all the new maps that we've been created, spending a lot of time to figure out how do we make each one of them different. So when players go in and play one of these new maps, it sort of has a different feel than the ones they've played before to sort of create that different experience for them. So this one has, um, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it, is sort of a banana shape to it, uh, and that banana do you like shape. Their fruit? <laughs> well, I think fruit's important when you're doing uh, game design. I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> Obviously, and so the shape gives you sort of a variety of different play styles and sort of creates this sort of narrow channels for people to just run head on into each other, which really creates that that chaos that is Battlefield. But it, that's it gives what we want, though. That's what we want, that kind of chaos. But most importantly, we need to know, like we could talk all days, but when can we get our hands on it? That's what we want to know, right? Yeah, and I think the great thing for this, this is coming uh, in July as part of Chapter 4, so uh, stay, uh, stay tuned. And I think some people are going to get to play it while they're here today. Ooh, lucky you. All right, Freeman, who's uh, we've stuck up there for no other reason than, well, my own entertainment, has more on Chapter 4 for you. Over to you, Freeman. I'm up here PTFO, and I don't know what you're giving out to me, Julia. Listen, <laughs> we have more maps, so let's deliver a brand new one to you. This is Alson Dan. It's coming in Chapter 4. The fight moves to the North African desert in a vast new map for Battlefield 5, Al Sandan. Prepare to engage alongside a lush desert coast. Neben Merita erscheint am 27. Juni eine weitere Karte. Al Sandan liegt in Nordafrika. Die Map ist riesengroß und verspricht Kämpfe an Land und in der Luft. In Al Sandan, we've taken the vista used in the single-player war story under no flag and doubled down on air and land vehicle combat. With this, the location has been optimized for all-out multiplayer action. On this open map, it's up to you to shape the fight. With large distances, vehicle-based team play, and battles across ranges... Adaptiert wurde die Map aus den War Stories. Eine klassische Battlefield Map mit sechs Flaggen. Es wird Camps, Radar Towers und ein Airfield geben. Wer das Flugfeld hält, hat einen klaren Vorteil im Luftkampf. Battlefield. 
We can't wait to let you play it. Get up close and personal. With Chapter 4, Defying the Odds. New Zum Ende von Chapter 4 erscheinen weitere Infanterie-Maps. Gezeigt wurde eine norwegische Map und eine weitere in der französischen Provence. Das idyllische Fischerdorf direkt am See erinnert in Teilen an Firestorm. Teamwork, Skill and Adaptation are your keys to victory. Fight through an explosives production facility in Lufferton Islands and unseat the Axis occupation in Provence. Prepare to assemble your team and rise above your enemies and prepare to learn more about these new battlefields later in the year. Big community features we've announced this month. Increase the max rank. Private games. <laughs> Let's talk max rank. What can you tell Let's us? talk max rank. Während der EA Play wurden neue Änderungen für Battlefield 5 angekündigt. Mr. Battlefield persönlich hat angekündigt, dass der maximale Rang von aktuell Level 50 auf Level 500 erhöht wird. Ab Level 51 erhalten Spieler bei jedem Aufstieg Company Coins. Weiterhin gibt es alle 50 Ränge eine spezielle Rundemarke. And it's a grind train, but what are people getting if they're on it? Yeah, what, I mean, what are we getting? We're all in it, you know, we want the goodies. So, <laughs> to start with, already from rank uh, 51, yeah. uh, you will be granted uh, company coins for every mm -hmm. rank up. But then, at every, do we call them milestone ranks, mm -hmm. you know, every 50th rank, you will get one shiny new rank icon to show off your skills and also a beautiful set of dog tags. So, lots of ways of showing off your mastery on your journey mm -hmm. towards, you know, that the, the world domination. <laughs> Previously, for those of you who have been with Battlefield, it was called RSP, the Rented Server Program. But now Im September werden die von der Community lang ersehnten privaten Games eingeführt. Diese werden für alle Spieler kostenlos nutzbar sein. Jeder kann private Lobbys erstellen und die Settings frei wählen. Private Server zur Miete wird es wohl nicht geben. Where do you want to capture or, you know, play with your friends? Yes, let's have a look. Well, this is the, the ultimate definition of a passion project. So, Inge Jordan, the, the, the original designer from Operation Metro. Und es gibt noch eine weitere neue Map. Operation Underground erscheint zwischen Chapter 4 und 5 im Oktober. Kämpfe in einer U-Bahn-Station mitten in einer Großstadt. Operation Underground wird wohl eine Infanterie-Map werden, die eine Metrostation besitzt, die über die Straßen erreicht. Die wohl größte Überraschung war die Ankündigung des Remakes von Iwo Jima. Battlefield 1942 Veteranen erinnern sich mit Sicherheit gut an das Inselatoll vor der japanischen Küste. Iwo Jima erscheint im Oktober mit Chapter 5. Das Team von Battlefield 5 hat die Inselgruppen besucht, um das bestmögliche Ergebnis für die neue Map zu gewährleisten. Neue Fahrzeuge wie ein Amphibienfahrzeug wurden bereits angekündigt. Ob es auch möglich sein wird, Kriegsschiffe zu steuern? Die Community wünscht sich dies mit Sicherheit. As the US and Japan enter the fight, you'll clash across several battlefields, including a modern take on an absolute classic, Iwo Jima. Since Battlefield began, the Pacific Theater has been part of its DNA. Now, we're crafting the ultimate reimagining of the conflict. By capturing real-life environments and using the power of frostbite, we're bringing you the Pacific realized with today's capabilities and technology. Take part in the US invasions as their unstoppable forces charge inland towards unwavering Japanese defenses. Use new amphibious units to pummel the war-ridden shores and an expanded arsenal to bring your squad to victory. We have a lot more to share about the Pacific and how it will evolve Battlefield 5 later in the year. Stay tuned. Das war die Battlefield 5 Präsentation von der E3 2019. Worauf freut ihr euch am meisten? Schreibt eure Meinung gerne in die Kommentare. Und wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, drückt sehr gerne den Like-Button. Und wenn ihr nichts mehr verpassen wollt, drückt den kleinen Abonnieren-Button. 
Wenn ihr bis hierhin zugeschaut habt, bedanke ich mich bei euch sehr herzlich fürs Zuschauen und sage bis zum nächsten Mal.